I'm Beck Treacher, I'm the Principal at Samuel Lister Academy. I'm Mark Ellis, I'm the Assistant Principal for ICT at Samuel Lister Academy. The decisions came about very early in the Academy's um, setup. Um, I became Principal Designate in the January 2012 and part of the process of becoming a new Academy was to look at the curriculum and how to you know, move, move the school forward and make it into something new. My name's Chris Wiseman uh, from MCC and my role over the last 12 months has been to work with our one-to-one -one iPad deployments in schools. We, we looked at various technologies, um, um, both Windows technologies, uh, Android technologies, the Mac technology, uh, and as we worked through and tested all the various devices, it kept coming back to the, to the iPad, kept coming back to the Apple solution. When I first met with Mark Ellis at Samuel Lister Academy, the brief was to find a strategy to improve teaching and learning um, by using mobile device technology. The first thing we had to do was, you know, was we had to research it thoroughly, mm. uh, we had to cost it, mm. um, we had to talk to governors, mm. um, we had to talk to other stakeholders, went through a very you know, rigorous process mm. to look at whether this was something that we felt that was, was viable. In the end, the proposal was to provide every student in the school with an iPad. And the way that we would do that would be through an e-learning foundation scheme. The e-learning foundation are a charity and their objective is to help schools to provide mobile devices to students in schools. Chris came in and spent a lot of time talking to us about what Apple technologies could do for us. So he brought different technologies into schools and said have a look at this. This is, a, this is an interesting technology and we spent a lot of time working together to come up with the solution that we needed, particularly in things like the light speed, the My Big Campus, the, the, the whole um, light speed systems. Mm -hmm. um, from a technical point of view, we can manage all the devices, the iPads, through the, through the light speed. Um, obviously, we've got the web-based filtering as well mm -hmm. so that the students are going home and we know that when they're accessing the internet at home it's through a safe and secure environment. Again, through arrangements with Chris, I went to visit schools that were that had done a one-to-one -one program. Uh, we could look at how they rolled it out, look at the mistakes that, that they were saying that, that, that had occurred, and we, we managed to solve those problems very quickly. The teachers uh, set homework on my big compass where the students can log on and uh, hand in all their work or check if they need to hand in anything. The iPad I've got my big compass mm -hmm. and you've got pages which is kind of like Word mm -hmm. then you've got spreadsheets which is like Excel mm -hmm. and another one such as PowerPoint. The tools that we have enable the teachers to teach creatively, enable the students to respond creatively without it getting in the way of the learning yeah. so that they can take, a, take a, a piece of technology and say here is my work and this is how I've done it and I've done it in a different way but I've still completed the task. Mm -hmm. That creativity, having an individual device, having a device that will then, all the, the technology all working together to enable the student to get it to the teacher, the teacher gets it back to the student, we can display it on the whiteboard, we can display it on a projector, we can display it using Apple TV, it makes no difference to, to the way we just get the work to, from student to teacher, as long as the work is creative. Training in CPD was really important to this becoming a successful scheme and with that in mind MCC provided a number of teacher training days so that staff at the school were comfortable using the new technology. My name is Janet Wilson and my role in the school is I teach French and Spanish and I'm head of sixth form. As a French and Spanish teacher the main thing for me is that they can access the authentic materials so quickly. So they can literally see the newspaper of the day, they can watch the news of the day. It's there, right in front of them, just at the press of the button, and that's just fantastic for us. No more photocopying, no more keeping worksheets that are a year old. It's absolutely up to date. And that really engages the students when they know they're dealing with resources which um, teenagers in France or teenagers in Spain are using. That's really um, engaging. One of the apps that I uh, particularly like is the penultimate one, which is the one where the children can write a quick answer, hold it up on the screen, and that's, that's fantastic. If I kind of look back now and reflect back to where I was sort of six months ago, in terms of my organisation, in terms of being IT savvy, I moved on in, in leaps and bounds. The number of parents who have come into school, who came to the pre-launch evening, who came for the information sessions, they were quite well attended. The attendance at the evenings has been very, very good. Um, 
parents are kind of starting to get the feedback that they think that this is something that's really going to help the, their child with their, with their learning. And the next stage for us will be obviously to, be the, to give the parent portal um, through my big campus so that parents will be able to communicate with us um, and, and know when they've got homework so they know they're able to to monitor what's going on and we can praise the students uh, and that's a big one because it, it means that as a teacher I can say that's really well done I'm going to let your mum and dad know and the students are, are then feeling that, that the, we're, we're, the communication's working. It's about them becoming ind really independent young people who can you know who can think for themselves who can who can access information who can who know where to look for things and who can you know put things together in, in the right way and so the outstanding teaching and learning is you know, it's the goal of the Academy, this is a tool that will help us on that journey.